Alabama. <laughs> Joining us now, two guys we call the Purple People, Democratic strategist Steve McMahon and his Republican colleague and friend, Alex Castellanos. Together, they're founding partners of Purple Strategies, our polling partners, and two people who know a lot about politics. Gentlemen, thank you for coming in. Alex, Oops. start with you. You've had a Big psychically day. troubled relationship with the prospect of Donald Trump being your nominee. Are you now fully accepting the reality that that's what's going to happen, or are you holding out hope something I, could intercede? I bowed before President Trump. Yeah. No, I think that's um, done deal. He had this thing won in March. Yeah. He nearly lost it. He's won it back. And I think you're seeing the Republican Party become a lot more comfortable. The price now of denying Trump the nomination is is so clear to everyone in the party that would be so destructive that uh, he, that's part of the bandwagon effect now that's rallying the party around him. It's now not just about whether he's earned the nomination. It's would it destroy the party to deny it to him. Is there anything Trump's done during this period Alex talked about where he's solidified his hold on this? Is there anything he's done that you've looked at and said, huh, that surprises me. That is pretty deft. That is a guy who could win a general election. Well, I don't know if I've, I think he's gotten a little bit more deft. He's gotten a little bit more presidential at moments. I think this Corey Lewandowski thing that goes back and forth between is Paul Manafort making him more presidential or is Corey Lewandowski um, letting him sort of revert to his old self is an interesting one. Every time he sort of puts the flags up and acts presidential, even a little bit, you know, you can start to see a candidate that is evolving and perhaps maturing. But, you know, then he, then he goes off like he did half the time last night and he sort of seems to regress. I think if he runs a temper tantrum campaign, he's going to get destroyed. And I think if he runs a really good campaign, he's going to get beat. <laughs> I, I think Hillary Clinton has never run against anyone with ten arms and eight legs like Donald Trump. That's true. And I think the odds of Donald <laughs> Trump winning <laughs> a general see, election that. Yeah. Kind of winning that a general election are better than 50-50. So just tell me about, about what happened today with uh, with Ted Cruz and naming putting Carly, Carly Fury on the ticket. What do you think about that? Oh, I think it was a clever strategy by Ted Cruz to get her delegate. <laughs> uh, I don't think she has any. Um, I have no idea. It makes absolutely no sense. I mean, this is the guy who asked the girl to the prom. She said no, and he's still making dinner reservations. Uh, it doesn't do anything, but I think uh, demonstrate how irrelevant he is becoming. Cruz had value in this process for one reason. He was an alternative to Trump. Nobody actually wanted Cruz. But it turns out that when Crump, Trump either succeeds or fails, you still now don't need Ted Cruz. So he is now completely irrelevant in the process. I think it's sort of, he got a little bit jealous because he heard John Kasich was actually interviewing and having uh, vice presidential candidates vetted. And Cruz didn't want to lose anything to Kasich, not even the vice presidential sweepstakes. So he moved quickly so, and so, decisively. But so help hurt or just a wash? Does it matter? Does it help her? Well, no, help or hurts. Help, help him, oh, hurt him, I, I or is it a wash? I think he's so irrelevant at this point that it actually probably hurts him a little bit because it, it, it reinforces the fact that he's desperate and irrelevant. And I, I don't so, think it so does any So you guys both good. agree that Trump is going to be the nominee. There's no question in your mind. There's like, there's no way that there, there, he's going to get to 1237 by. I've been by, hoping. By I've June been hoping 8. for some time this I'm, would be the case, and I'm Alex has been fearing it. Sure. No, look, this year the impossible's already happened. So who knows what's going to happen tomorrow? Could he lose Indiana? Could a uh, meteor? hit something yes he there's a chance he falls not only a handful of votes short then he still gets the nomination maybe they steal 200 votes from him and deny him the nomination and the party blows up i don't think that's going to happen i think it looks like donald trump's going to be the republican nominee rick scott we, john read his statement earlier said stop the stop trump movement because everything you do now is just helping hillary clinton do you think either before indiana or after if trump wins that that will become more of a consensus view in the party it's Shut, becoming the consensus view in the party i think you're right uh, the governor of florida is kind of at the leading edge of that debate but it's beginning to sink in that, again, that the cost of denying Trump the nomination is chaos in the party. Look, this is like the political parties are like the stock market. They can go up or down, but the one thing you want to avoid is uncertainty. And right now, the Republican Party wants to bring some certainty to this process. Yeah, that's, Alex, that's the trend for the next two months. Alex talks about the cost of the Republican Party of denying the nomination to Trump, which I completely agree with in terms of like what will happen with the Trump supporters kind of walking out of the convention ang angry. On the other hand, a lot of a lot of Alex's friends, a lot of mainstream Republicans, are very very worried about what happens if Trump is the nominee. Does the Senate go under? Does the House of Representatives lose 30 seats and go Democratic? I I say go 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 Donald because I think all those things could happen. Be but I think. Careful. A lot of Alex's friends are pretty deeply concerned about that. 
But if I were a Senate candidate, a Republican Senate candidate in a swing state, and I had a choice of having Ted Cruz above me on the ticket or Donald Trump, I'd have a much better shot of being my own person, my own candidate, under Donald Trump. Ted Cruz is the narrowest possible expression of being a Republican, but he is a Republican. Donald Trump is the circus has come to town. Hey, I'm not with the circus. Look at me. Hold on one second. Alex and Steve, thanks so much.